Welcome to an example of a definite integral that requires integration by substitution. To perform integration by substitution, we want to let u be equal to part of the integrand so that differential u resembles the remaining part of the integral. And normally it's best to let u equal the inner function of a composite function. So notice here we have two times e raised to the power of sine x, so we're gonna let u be equal to sine x which is a good choice because differential u would contain cosine x. So using this equation here, we could write this as e to the power of u, and now we'll find differential u, so we can write this integral in terms of u. Differential u is equal to the derivative of sine x with respect to x times dx. So differential u is equal to cosine x dx. So notice using this equation, we can rewrite cosine x dx as du. So now we're gonna write this in terms of u, and because this will be in terms of u, we'll leave off the limits of integration for a moment because those are in terms of x. So let's go ahead and factor out the two, and we'd have the integral of e to the u, and cosine x dx is just du. So we'd have two, the integral of e to the u is just e to the u. So we'll have two e to the u, where again u is sine x. So we have two e to the power of sine x. And because we have a definite integral, we'll now evaluate this at pi over six and zero. So when x equals pi over six, we'll have two times e raised to the power of sine pi over six, and then minus, two times e raised to the power of sine zero. Well sine pi over six is equal to one half, so we have two e to the one half minus sine zero is zero, and e to the zero is one, so we have minus two. Of course if we wanted to, we could factor out the two and write this as two times the quantity e to the one half is the same as the square root of e, minus one. Either of these last two expressions would be the exact value of the definite integral. I hope you found this helpful.